Hello everybody, welcome back. Pedro Travels here and today I'm gonna teach you five things you should know before you start using Premiere Pro. These things will help you a lot. They will help you save time and they might actually save your life. So let's get to it. Now that we're here, the first thing that'll save you tons of time is the autosave function. You might think, nah, it's just autosave, but this is the only thing you can hold on when something bad happens. Like if the power goes down at your house or somebody runs by the power cable, or even if Premiere Pro might stop working just out of nothing. So just go to Edit, Preferences, and Autosave. A box will pop up and while I advise you to choose automatically save every five minutes. If something goes wrong, you only lose five minutes of your work because usually Premiere Pro has the autosave setup to 20 minutes by default. And 20 minutes, it's a lot to lose. And now that we are already here, it, there's another thing that will help you a lot, which is here at Media Cache. Once you finish one project and you start another one, you should come here and delete the unused media cache files. Because this takes a lot of your space on your computer and that might slow down your work. So, so just press delete unused, it'll take a while, that'll make your computer faster and easier to work with. And there you go. These two things will help you a lot, but this one now, it's a very simple thing that you can change when you import your footage into Premiere Pro. That will save you from getting your footage all scrambled up on the project folder. It's now about the list mode and the icon mode. So, these two buttons here is the list view, where you have everything by list, and this one, where you have everything by icons. So, let's open this folder, and now, I have here some footage from 1 to 11, these are a couple of videos I did on one of my previous trips and most of the people they use the list mode, so let's try that out. Let's grab this footage, drag it into Premiere Pro and there you go, you have the footage from 1 to 11. But um, if I have the footage like this, I don't know what kind of footage it is, so what I usually do is I press the icon mode to see what kind of footage is it. But what happens when I turn from list mode to icon mode is that everything gets screwed up. So it's 6, 8, 2, 11, 10, 5, 7, 3. It gets all screwed up. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 until 11. And it's only right when I use this mode. So what I advise you guys to do is to delete this. And when you import the footage, make sure that you are on icon view. So if I do it again, I go here on the folder, I import all the footage and I have all the footage one by one in the right order. If I go to list view, they are still in the right order. The fourth thing is a shortcut that will save you a lot of seconds while cutting your videos. And by the end, when you finish your project, this will save you a ton of time. So what you do is, I'll give you an example, let's grab this one, let's drag it onto the timeline and here you go. Now I'll grab the razor tool, I make a cut here in the middle and now let's imagine these are two different clips. So usually I finish this clip and I want to jump on the next one but I don't want to jump right here. So I have two options, either I do it like this, I grab the beginning of the video and I drag it until here. I press in here and I press delete and I bring it back or I can come with the razor tool cut the video whenever I want, grab the selection tool, right click it, clear, then press here and delete. But there's one faster way to do all of this. You can simply bring this one until the place you want, for example here, and just press the Q button and it automatically deletes that part of the video. That one might save you a couple of seconds while you're cutting your video every time you make a cut. But by the end of the video, you'll probably have a lot of time that you saved by only doing this shortcut. This one I wish that I knew long, long time ago. I've been doing it manually until a few months ago. You record the video with the audio from a camera, but then you record the audio with an external microphone attached to something else. Then you have to sync the audio with the audio on the camera. And that might take a while to do it. 
and I'm gonna teach you a way guys you can do this in seconds I've been doing it manually I'm gonna do manually for you so you can see how I sync the audio but then I'm gonna teach you the easy easy way okay so I have this clip here I'm just gonna drag it here to the timeline I'm gonna bring this one a bit higher so you can see the audio waves then I'm gonna bring the audio clip okay there you go so this are the two clips this is the video this is the audio what I used to do was I used to come here bring this one more or less on the same spot and try to fit the waves one with each other you know this will take you a lot of time and a lot of testing let's check I go deeper into Premiere Pro let's get to it see you can still hear both of the audios that they are not very well synced and the easiest way to do this is <laughs> I wish I knew this long time ago you just select everything right click and then synchronize then you come on this option you just select audio and press OK it'll take you some time and there you go guys listen look, look but today we're gonna go deeper into Premiere Pro let's get to it it's perfect I wish I knew this long time ago so these are the five things you should know before you start using Premiere Pro this will save you a lot of time and I wish I knew it long long time ago if you like this video just give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and every Tuesday I keep making these tutorials to teach everything that I know to you guys and every Thursday I keep making my travel videos, vlogs where I travel around the world and I record everything that it's around me. So I'll see you guys next Tuesday.